Hi everyone, in this video, we will have tangent and secant segments. Okay, we have your theorem on two intersecting chords. If two chords of a circle intersect, then the product of the measures of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord. So for example, here we have a circle here, and two chords B, D, and A, C are intersecting at E. So if two chords intersect in a, uh, uh, in a circle, then the product of the measures of the segments of one chord, so the product of the segments. What are the segments formed by uh, AC? So we have here uh, AE and CE. So the product of AE and CE is equal to the product of BE and DE. So it's equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord. Okay? So if you have two chords, just this part, the segment, times the other one, is equal to the uh, product of uh, the segments of the other chord. Okay, for example, here in the figure, we have two intersecting chords AC and DB. So they form CE, which is equal to 3, AE, which is equal to 6, BE, which is equal to 2, and DE here. So the question is, uh, what is the measure of uh, line segment DE. So from uh, the previous theorem, the product of DE and 2 must be equal to the product of this uh, 6 and 3. So DE times 2 equals 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. So the length of DE is 9 units. Okay, let us have another example. In the figure, two intersecting chords C, D, and A, B intersect at E, and it forms line segment D, E equals 4, and line segment E, C, uh, 15, and line segment B, E, 6. What is the length of line segment A, E? So the product of 4 and 15 must be equal to the product of 6 and A, E. So 6 times A, E equals 4 times 15. 4 times 15 is 60. So the 60 divided by 6 is 10. So AE is 10 units. So if you will multiply 6 times 10, that's 60. 4 times 15 is also 60. So indeed, the products are equal. Okay, let us have another example. We have here 4 and 9, and this one is 3. What is BE? So BE is uh, 4 times 9 divided by 3. So 36 divided by 3 is 12. So that is 12. How about if we have this? Okay, so 2 times 21 must be equal to 14 times BE. So 2 times 21 is 42. 42 divided by 14 is 3. So BE is 3 units. Okay, another. We have here uh, AE is 9, DE is 7, CE is 6, and uh, we are asked of BE. So, BE is 7 times 9 divided by 6. So, 63 over 6. And then, you can simplify that. So, this time, our answer is not a whole number. So, 63 divided by 6 can be simplified to divide both the numerator and denominator by 3. So, 63 divided by 3, that's 21. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, 21 halves. Or if you want that in a mixed number, that's 10 and a half. Or if we want it in decimals, then that is uh, 10.5. Okay, another example. We have here, BE is 2, EA is 22, CE is 8. What is ED or DE? So we have a 2 times 22 divided by 8. So 44 divided by 8. We cannot uh, have a whole number here. So divide both the numerator and denominator by 4. You will get 11 over 2 or 11 halves or that is 5 and a half or 5.5 so de is five and a half units okay external secant segment so a part of a secant segment that is outside a circle so if you have this we have here a secant seg segment E, A, and the external secant segment is E, B. In this part here, 
the external second a second segment is ec so uh, be and uh, ce are the external second segments so they intersect here so this part here the outside part outside the circle Okay, theorem. If two second segments are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, then the product of the lengths of one second segment and its external second segment is equal to the product of the lengths of the other second segment and its external second segment. So here, uh, the second segment is uh, E A and E D. And the external second segments are EB and EC. So the product of EA and BE is equal to the product of uh, DE and CE. Okay? So if you multiply uh, uh, EA, this long part here, and the outside part, EB, the product should be equal to the product of uh, the other, the other one of this ED and EC. If you multiply them, the product is uh, equal. So here, we have here in the figure, uh, DE is 6. So DE is the external second segment in this part here. And then BE is... Uh, 8, B is also an external second segment. And A, E is 9. A, E is the second segment, the whole second segment. Find C, E. So it says that the product of this uh, 6 and this C, E is equal to the product of 8 and 9. So 6 times C, E equals 8 times 9. 8 times 9 is 72. 72 divided by 6 is 12. So CE is 12 units. So again, the product of the external and the whole, external and the whole is, or the products are equal. Let us have another example. In the figure, CD is 3. CD is this part here inside. DE is 9. DE is the external second segment. BE is 6. BE is also an external second segment. Find A, B. Okay, so uh, well, we will use the, uh, the theorem. So A, E. A, E is the second segment times B, E times the external second segment should be equal to C, E, the whole second segment, and the external second segment 9, D, E. So re re let's replace the values. Uh, what is A, E? A, E is uh, what uh, we don't know. But as what you can see here, we are asked to find A, B, but we used A, E in the formula because uh, we don't have a relationship for A, B. What we're going to do here is if uh, we will subtract 6 from A, E, we will get A, B because uh, A, E is the sum of B, E, and A, B. So uh, later on, if we know that A, E is... Uh, uh, the value of AE, then we will subtract 6 from that. We will get AB. Okay, what is AE? That's unknown. BE is 6. And then CE, the whole second segment, is 3 plus 9. 3 plus 9, that is 12. Okay, so this CE is uh, 12. And then DE is 9. So 12 times 9 is... 108 and divide by um, divide by 6 108 divided by 6 is 18 so ae is 18 so this part here a e is uh, 18 so if the whole thing is 18 and the outside part here is uh, 6 so this inside part ab is 12 so, AB is 12. Okay, let us have another example. In the figure, CD is 9. 
D E is 5, A B is 3, and E B is uh, unknown. That is what is uh, asked, E B or B E. So A E, the whole second segment times the external second segment B E should be equal to the C E times D E. But we don't know EB, so let's represent that as X. So if that is X, AE, AE A -E is uh, from here going here. So that's X plus 3. And BE is X. BE is X and AE is X plus 3. So we will have X times uh, X plus 3 times X. And then for this one, CE is CE from here going there. That's 9 plus 5. So that's 14 times the external second segment, DE5. So 14 times 5 is 70. And then X plus 3 times X. So X times X is X squared. 3 times X is 3X. So we have here a quadratic equation. So we can solve quadratic equation using different techniques. You can use quadratic formula, factoring, uh, completing the square, and extracting the square root. Or by uh, graphing. Of course, the most practical that we're going to use here is factoring. If we cannot do it using factoring, then we will use the quadratic formula. Okay, so uh, if we factor, if, if we are solving a quadratic equation, we have to put all the terms on one side and zero on the other side. So if you will put positive 70 to the left, it's going to be negative 70. So we will factor this. What are the factors of x squared plus 3x minus 70? So you will have a product of 70. A product of 70 that will give you a sum of 3. So it's 10 and 7. So since it's negative 70, one should be positive, one should be negative. And since the sum is positive 3, it should be positive 10 and negative 7. And then if we have this, x is negative 10 or x is positive 7. But of course, we are talking about the length of line segments here. So x equals negative 10. A negative number is not possible for that. So x is a 7. So this is a 7. So BE, we are asked to find BE. So BE is 7 units. Okay, another theorem. If a tangent segment and a second, seg a second segment are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, then the square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the length of the second segment and its external second segment. So same. It's just that we have here one tangent segment instead of two second segments. So here, EA, the, the square of EA should be equal to uh, the product of the second segment DE and the external second segment CE. Okay. So in the figure CE is 9, CE is the second segment, DE is 4, DE is the external second segment, find BE. So BE here is the uh, tangent segment. So BE squared is equal to the second segment CE times the external second segment DE. So CE is 9 and DE is 4. So 9 times 4 is 36. So BE squared is 36. So take the square root of both sides. So BE is 6. Okay, another example. In the figure CE is 4. BC is 12, find DE. So it should be find DE. Ah. Should be DE. Because if it's BE, it's just 4 plus 12, 16. So DE is this one. So DE squared is equal to BE, the second segment, times the external second segment, uh, second segment EC. So we have here, what is BE? BE is 4 plus 12. 4 plus 12 is 16. 
and CA is 4. So 16 times 4. 16 times 4 is 64. So D is squared is 64. Take the square root. Six, uh, square root of 64 is 8. So D is 8 units. Another example, in the figure BE is 9, that's the external second segment. DE is 12, find BC. Okay, according to the theorem, the square of uh, this uh, external tan uh, of this tangent segment is equal to the product of uh, the second segment CE and its external second segment uh, BE. So 12, uh, DE squared is equal to CE times BE. So uh, DE is uh, 12, 12 uh, squared equals BE is 9 and CE is, we don't know CB, so let's represent that as X. So the whole CE is 9 plus x. So 12 squared is 144. 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times x is 9x. And then this is a linear equation, so solve for x. So put 81 to the other side. It's going to be negative 81. 144 minus 81 is 63. So uh, divide both sides by 9. So x is 7. So bc is seven units. Okay, another example in the figure CE is 9, BD is 24, find BE. So we have CE squared from the theorem is equal to the whole second segment ED times the external EB. Okay? So the whole is, uh, we don't know the whole, we don't know also EB. So let's represent that EB as X. So we will have X for EB and the whole thing here is X plus 24. So 9 squared is equal to X times X plus 24. So that's 81 equals X squared plus 24X. This is a quadratic equation. So put 81 to the left or to the right so that we will have 0 on uh, the left side. So x squared plus 24x minus 81. Uh, do the factoring. So you will have x plus 27 minus or times x minus 3. So you will have x equals negative 27 or x equals 3, but negative 27 cannot be because this is our uh, uh, this is a length of a line segment. So uh, just take x equals 3. So x is equal to 3. So that's it for uh, secant and uh, tangent segments. So uh, for those who haven't uh, subscribed yet, please subscribe uh, FATMAT. So FATMAT TV is uh, here for you. If uh, you need more examples in your uh, mathematics subjects in high school. So that's all for now. Thank you and goodbye.